hello python programmers so in this video i'm going to show you that how you can create the tiktok toe game using python so let me first walk you through the final output of this project this will be a gui and the player one is x and the player two is o the first chance is of the player one there you can see And now you can see that the player 2 has 1 which is O from the middle column. So ok so let's talk about the packages required. You only required Kinter for this project and as it comes pre-installed with your vanilla python installation you do not need to externally pip install that. So this project will be divided into two videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this GUI and create all the buttons and and how to make this cross and O appear on the button when you click on them. In the next video, we'll apply the permutation and combination to see that which player has won. Okay, so now we are into a new python file. Let me import the library required which is only Kinta from Kinta. Import all or import star. Now let's create the tk variable which is root here. Then we'll create our first two labels which will say that the player 1 is x and the player 2 is o. So L, make sure that this L is capital here of the label, then the name of the class variable, the text is player, uh, this is not a list, player 1 is X. and the font is gonna be times it should be inside the inverted commas it should be times and the size should be 15 and let's say uh, let's not make it bold so let's grid this into our kinter window add the row 0 and add the column there should be a comma here add the column let's say first then we'll create another label so i'll just copy paste this here there should be l2.grid and here also l1.grid uh, let's make this l2 the text appearing will be l player second is equal to o and the font remains the same only the column changes ok so now let's create our 9 buttons button then it should be in the root variable the width of the button is 20 and the height there should not be a equal to sign here and the height is equal to 10 you can clearly experiment with these values and the command that this uh, button will trigger is a lambda function uh, and it will call the function define sign which we will be creating in just a few minutes and the value which will be passed is 1 because this is button 1 now let's grid this into the row uh, first and add the column first so let's create 9 of them there should be equal spacing so that there is no confusion 
so how many of there are one two three four five six seven eight nine so there we have nine buttons let's rename them and grid them at different rows and columns and create the lambda functions for each of these buttons Okay, so we are done editing them. Let's close our main loop, loop dot main loop. Okay, so let's create a define sign function so that we can display that whether the player one or cross is playing or the player two O is playing. So first of all, we need to create some variables here. The first is Y it should be a string then x it should be an integer 2 then player 1 it should be a list and then player 2 it should be also a list now let me give you a brief introduction what these four values are and by the way while creating the functions you will clearly understand why we are using these variables first of all the y variable will store whether the button is cross or o the x will say that whether the player 1 or the player 2 is playing and the player 1 and player 2 list will store the number of buttons in them let me show you the implementation of this so we will create def define sign no parameters are given here then we will call our global x comma y and global player 1 comma player 2 so if uh, actually there is a parameter it should be number because this is what the lambda function is sending if the button 1 is pressed then 1 is sent to this function if 2 then 2 if 3 then 3 and same for other 9 so if the number is equal to equal to 1 then what will happen here is if x modulo 2 is equal to equal to 0 or this number is even which says that the player 1 is playing then the x will become sorry the y will become x which is for the player 1 and then we'll append the player1 list uh, it should be append with this number so that we can have the list for both player1 and player2 now let me write the whole code then I will explain you in one go uh, so we'll print the player1 just to make sure that everything goes well and elif the x modulo 2 is not equal to 0 or this is an odd number then the y will become o then the y will become o and the player 2 dot append the number and then we'll 
print our player then we'll simply b1 dot configure text is equal to y and x will be increased with 1 now let me explain you this bit of code because the same concept will be applied for all the buttons here now first of all the value of x is null and uh, sorry y, y is null x is 0 the player list is also empty for both of the players now we have we have called the global variables in this function now if the number is 1 or the player has pressed the button first then what will happen is it will check whether the number is even or odd because after pressing of each button the x is incremented by 1 so if the player 1 is playing then this will be a even number here you can see and if the player 2 is playing this will be a odd number so you must be getting what I am saying here right let's say that the player 1 is playing and the number is even so this will go into here and y will become x and then the player list is appended with the button number which we are gonna use to see whether there is any possibility of the player 1 has 1 or not and the same applies for the player 2 so we are gonna copy this for the others also it should be copied 9 times uh, I haven't counted how many times I have pasted it here so let's rename them we'll found we'll find that out later should be 2 and there won't be any changes here only the B2 is configured if the number is 3 then no changes here only the B3 is configured b9 will be configured okay now we are good to go i guess let me make sure i am not missing anything uh, no we are not so let's save this and run this by my newly discovered command <laughs> shortcut ctl plus b and if i press first then it is playing uh, it is displaying oh uh, just a second let me see this okay so actually we have an extra b1 here number one here but I don't think so that it wouldn't matter and it will matter <laughs> and there you can see we are able to get the cross and O pattern so this was the aim for this video let me just sum up this video by explaining you the whole concept again first of all we have created these nine buttons which which are of the three cross three matrix format and each button has the lambda function command which gives the define sign function their button numbers and in our define sign function we are getting two things done 
first of all we are checking that which button has been pressed and then we are again checking whether this this is player 1 playing or player 2 by simply using a variable and checking it whether it's even or odd then we are defining if it is player 1 then the value printed will be x if it is player 2 then the value printed is o and then we have appended the list for them here player 1 and here player 2 then at the last we have configured the button to display and then we have incremented the value so that the next chance goes to the next player so this is it for this video and i'll meet you in my next video we'll where we'll complete this project by applying the permutation and combination and getting that which player has won and which player has lost so me to them bye bye